without entertainment, people's lives would be very boring. How would they fill the time in between eating, sleeping, and working? You realize that you live a block away from the ghetto? It's a nice bike you got there. Are you ready for this interview? No. As a magician, it's really not about the trick that you're performing. It is about the setup and it's about the acting. It's about getting your audience totally keyed in on what you're doing. If, if I could give you if I could give you a glimpse inside of my head and just show you what, what I've got in mind, man, you'd be amazed. Jesus. <sighs> Rodney Duvet. Have you seen his act? It's, it's sad. It's really sad. He's been around for years. We try and throw him some work every once in a while. Bill is a great guy. I mean, I kind of look at Bill as a second dad. I mean, he is so supportive of what I do. It's, he's, inc he's an incredible man. He tries hard. He's a nice guy. I like him, but uh, it's hard to get him work. We're trying. I mean, we got him this one last gig, and uh, if this doesn't work, well, you know, we just can't carry him anymore. He's dragging down the whole agency. Is it uh, possible that my documentary crew follows me throughout the day here? I've got um, filming a documentary about magicians and a feature piece. Is that going to be a problem? With no, the no, it's, no, no, it okay. should be a problem. Okay, great, great, great. This theater manager, I mean, you talk about an entrepreneur, you know? He's doing something different, and he know? wants to make his theater the best it can be, okay? I mean, he's on a train to somewhere. One of our ideas is to, to have some pre-show entertainment, like the like an opening act, if you would, for, for a concert, and, and thus add value to our ticket sales. I, I was a child, and I went on a I went on a trip with my grandmother one time, and she wasn't too fond of planes, so we took a train, and it was the first time I was on a train, and I'll never forget the experience that that was. It felt so much more like a journey and that's kind of that's been kind of my running thing for a long time now is to you know I've got the ticket all I gotta do is board that train <laughs> you know I want to board that train to Vegas. Rodney is convinced that he is a gig away from headlining in Vegas. You know the only Rodney's gonna do in Vegas is park cars. That town will eat you alive. The competition was stiff. <clears throat> um, there was a lot of talent that showed up for this. I did get a big surprise when I was I was in the green room and my my life and. In walks Dale. Rodney's partner, Dale Finley. What a piece of work that guy was. He almost, he almost put me out of business. I've tried to forget about it, but it was a nightmare. There was this gig. It was at some kind of school or a church group. There was a bunch of kids there. And Rodney's late. Look. Rodney can't get to the gig on time, so Dale decides to go on without him. He's getting through it, and, and he, he comes to the finale, which is this big, we put a kid in a box, we chain the box up, we make the kid disappear, that's the finale, right? They lock it all up, and Dale forgets that Rodney has the key to the box. So no, it, was, it was horrible. It was in the newspaper. It was just awful. It was a nightmare. That, that's pretty much what broke up the act. And I took him into the bathroom, and I... We just got it out in the open, I, you know, about what happened with the last gig that we did. What happened it, that day? You didn't show up. Yes, I did show up. You weren't there. Yes, I did. I didn't know you alone. I, I might have been late, but I did show up. I didn't see you. Sometimes see things you. happen for reasons, okay? And 
it was like it was like one of those love moments you know it was like in the bathroom <laughs> you know the hand of god comes down and says rodney you know what what are you doing here think think dale is in front of you and i said something along the lines of we're not as strong apart as we are together we are not nearly as strong separated as we are together together as our old act okay and i decided to put all differences aside at that moment and ask him if he would join forces with me and you know kick it like we used to i'm sorry too I'm glad that I was a bigger man. And I really think we're going to nail this. And it's, we've been talking about Vegas for a long time. And I think it's going to happen this time. There was a lot of talent that showed up for this. I mean, it sounds bizarre, but it's this vulture act. It's this live vulture poet, beautiful dance routine that it encapsulated the beauty that is nature. You know, it was amazing. I was pretty touched by it. I mean, it, it, it was good, you know? And I'm not ashamed to admit that. I mean, I'm not ashamed to admit there's a lot of acts out there that are just amazing. This is better than a vulture. It's better than a girl in a pink tutu walking around. Come on, one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are the magicians, and uh, we're going to perform a little illusion for you today. Is everybody uh, ready to see uh, something quite amazing? amazing. Uh, illusion? <laughs> huh? All right, all hey, right, let's definitely. This. Let's let's, let's let's get started. I want to really wow them. I want, I want the big laughs, I want the big wows, I want the big reactions. Yeah! <laughs> ah. Ah. So we have a problem on the spinal cord. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> ah. Woo! Man, how does that feel to get cut in half? I want to leave them telling their friends, man, you got to go to this theater. It's amazing. There's this magical performance. Thank you very much. Thank you. Her music. All right. I, I really appreciate all of you coming in. When he was just about to announce the winner, I had a smile on my face. I mean, I heard him say the words. The magicians got the act. The winner, however, is going to be the Vulture Poet <gasps> Dancer <gasps> Show. Oh, for crying. Uh, that's, that's, I that really, oh, really great. liked. Thank you. Really, Thank you. Really loved the bird. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, people, you did a good job. Yeah, you're pretty, pretty impressive. I'm not going to let this get me down. Okay, we've got the ticket, and we're going to board that next train to Tinseltown, Vegas, baby. You know what I mean? Next stop, Vegas. <laughs> There's two things you've got to be in this business. One, you gotta do, you gotta do a lot of hard work. You gotta be a hard, hard worker. And two, you got to be positive. My dreams are coming true every day. And it's only going to get better. 